everybody, Jell Bells here. Who's the crankiest bellhop in the world? It's Jell Bells, Jell Bells. I'm not opening the door for you. You are way too fat. I see eight new cracks in the sidewalk since you started walking on it, fat footed fuck. I'm gonna break my door frame if you try to squeeze through. And for the Empire State Building, I heard King Kong is looking for a snack. It'd take him four big ass bites to get all of you down. What do you want in my building anyway? For my Weight Watchers meeting? How long have you been going? Three months. So you used to be even fatter? Who's the crankiest bellhop in the world? It's Jell Bells, Jell Bells. Jimmy Toyota Ha. I have to turn in my bow tie for fuel mileage. What's happening, everybody? I am Michael Maroots, and welcome back to NASCAR 15 for the first time in three months. So I said to Murph, hey, Murph, why don't you go and make a Jamai Dollar General paint scheme, and I'll run it for a video. And he's like, sure, Mikey. And well, he made one. But he didn't tell me that he was going to name it, and he was going to laugh at me when he was naming it. So we got Jemai here in the NASCAR 15. We're going to use it today, and we're also going to run at Bristol. The Bush Clash, or the Bush Crash, as I like to call it at the LA Coliseum. It's going to be a madhouse, a mess. There's going to be plenty of accidents. Well, the only thing that compares in the NASCAR console sphere is some Eutechnics Bristol. I would do this on NASCAR 13, but I so happen to enjoy my mental well-being today. So we're not going to do that. Crashes, check. Jimmy, check. Toyota, check. Well, we've got everything we need for a great day at the races. Let's get this video started. Let's go! 840 likes on the video, and Jimmy will win one of his nine starts this year. All right, seriously, please like the freaking video. I just want to be happy again. Right before I started this recording, I got home from the Dollar Tree where I picked up some single-ply toilet paper and a whole mess of water balloons. You know, the essentials. NASCAR 15 makes its triumphant return to the Michael Moves channel with Jemai Toyota in the Dollar Tree Toyota here at the LA Bristol. We're underway. 100 laps because the damn game got rid of 15% distance for whatever freaking reason. They're already wrecking. We're gonna see plenty of smoke this weekend. I'm willing to bet you. I figured, you know what? We'll start all the way out back. No need to qualify. Just let it rip. Joma probably ain't gonna be doing any anything great in qualifying this year anyway. Oh, okay. You know what? I just remembered I gotta get rid. Damn! That wasn't a caution. Somehow that wasn't a yellow. Gotta get rid of all this brake bias. It makes me too damn tight. It's not making me regular. I haven't shit in a week because all this brake bias. So now I can actually turn the damn car a little bit, but it still could be better. We're gonna make some adjustments. Before the race is done, we're gonna have to make a pit stop. The only, the, damn, I thought the game was about to die. The only difference here between this and NASCAR 13 is like the AI is a bit more capable of saving their car. NASCAR 13, they don't save the car at all. Here they can take some bumps and get sideways and actually hang on to it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. This car, the parts on it, they're Dollar Tree parts. They're really cheap, man. So I'm gonna have to replace basically the entire car on this pit stop. Look at how easily we just lost some pieces of sheet metal. Because it's not sheet metal, it's sheet construction paper. Aisle three at Dollar Tree. I actually said to hell with the pit stop. I want some of that track position. We'll see what the hell we can do. But here's your look at this new 2024 Yoder of Jibites. I don't know if it'll actually look like this. Mains is in a rush. Hey, there's old Jibai up behind us. Everybody is in such a damn hurry. I hate all capital letters on the hate. You technics Bristol. It appears that tires have a distinct advantage over everybody. Why is the game, it keeps doing that. I don't know if it's picking up on your guys' scent, but it keeps like freezing up on me. Tires are worth something. They all pitted. I was the last guy out here without any fresh rubbers, and they are storming up on me like the beaches of Normandy. So my I am the days of Christmas future. I know it's quite terrifying. All the gold and the green mixed together. Those are not a couple of colors you typically see on a race car together. I'm trying to just like send it as deep as I can 
Get some good, decent run up out of the corner. It just, it's not, you know, oh my god! I missed that wall! All right, well, this all started because Redneck Jesus was in a goddamn hurry. Probably about time. I took some engine damage. I took some bright front suspension damage. And we're burning through them tires, so we're making a pit stop. Do you guys actually believe, now that I'm the one with fresh tires, that I'm going to gain some sort of advantage over everybody else? No! The games don't work that way in my favor. I didn't make some big-time adjustments. A lot of adjustments on the car. Tire pressure, wedge... Track Hello. bar, we fixed it. On the bottom, one back. Is out. Who's gonna pick up the barrels? Wait a minute. This was going on in the. They were wrecking up front too. No one even gives a single flying fuck about me knocking over all them barrels. Now I get the feeling that this game, its brain is a little bit broken. The Eutectics Bristol's brains are always broken. I stayed out. Okay. I'm willing to bet you that my tires are worn, and now the guys that pitted behind me are gonna have some sort of speed advantage. Oh dear God, they're wrecking, they're hitting, it. they're everybody's driving into everybody, and the game keeps glitching on me. I still. Whoa, close call, great man. My annoyed meter is growing. I did what I had to do. It's loose. I'm gonna tell you this: it might be a bit too loose. I might have freed it up. I thought he was going underneath me. It might have been too much freeing that I did. And now, yeah, Jumai's old dirt background is coming in handy with the way this car is handling. I fully expect that this is what the bush crash is gonna look like. We have cracked the top 25 for the first time today. They go too slow down around the bottom lane. Look behind me, oh my God! Keep it around the... Okay, that was so fucking unnecessary, Tony the Tiger. I think I took a big chunk of engine damage. Like, what? where is he going, sticking it up the middle like that? Fuck! The construction paper is falling apart. Went backwards on the one adjustment, on the track bar adjustment, because I'm thinking that was probably what was getting me as loose as I was. And yeah, it's not sliding nearly as bad as it was. So we might be in the clear. It's just how in the world do I get through all this freaking traffic? If I can somehow find a way to just keep it down around the bottom, don't let anybody underneath me. We might be all right. And like the less restarts, the better. Let things get a little bit strung out. Even though, now nah, there goes that. There goes that whole hope and dream. Carl Jr. had to eat me for shit coming out of turn four. But, yeah, yeah. Teammates, how you doing, Joe? That was a veteran move! You saw how damn quickly that 18 came storming up beneath. I'm, I'm assuming he made a pit. Maybe he did it. Maybe I just left the bottom open and that's what screwed me. I can't leave the bottom open. Well, that's kind of difficult when you're restarting on the outside. Holy fuck! We're spending an awful lot of time around each other, Jemai. Toyota Jim will conquer! It's your future! There's nothing you can do about it, man, so you might as well accept it! Wow! All the way up to six. But I saw that we took a lick of damage on the right front in that little skirmish there. So it might be kind of tight. Why are we three? Why? Why? Why are we three wide? That hurt a lot. Well, we're kind of fucked. Now there's some weird looseness that I'm feeling in like the ass end of the car. I was in six. We just got to let some laps click on by the Danica's in the lead. All the way up the LA Coliseum. This is ridiculous. This is this is fucking stupid. Something was going. Yeah, they were wrecking behind me. I probably could have seen that in my rear view, but I wasn't looking because I was so petrified of what was going on in front of me. When am I gonna make my last pit stop? How far can I stretch it? Like, let's just say I refrain from hitting anything the last 60 laps. Could I make it 60 laps? I'm gonna try to not hit anything anymore, and we're gonna go the last 58 laps with what we have. I mean, slow and steady is what wins races. I gotta take my time, okay. round the bottom, strategically placing my car, not getting into anybody, just doing stuff like that and working, marching my way up. Why? what happens when they all wreck? Cause they are three wide most of the field. Oh yeah, I really like the handling of this car. I got it dialed in, baby. There's still three wide up there, and, and the game is... I hope you guys see that. 
I hope you see what I'm dealing with. How the game like pauses, freezes up for a split second. It's really throwing me off. Oh god, okay, so it was like handling really well for the first few laps, but I'm already starting to notice a difference. I... Oh shit, I don't know where to go! McDouche had to ruin that one for us. He's been ruining my life for the last three years. I hate that motherfucker. So we got people behind us with old, crusty tires, too. Along with us, we're not gonna have the new tire people storming up our caboose. Thank the sweet lord, we are half. They're far wide, oh my god! We are halfway home, ladies and gentlemen, and we are in the top 10. We've come from dead last, which now honestly feels like a horrible mistake I made by not qualifying. But we find ourselves all the way up in the top 10 with 40, fuck you, 47 laps to go. Oh, we're headed to the back! The tires, okay, the handling doesn't last long enough, the, the, like, that good, good handling only lasts for like five laps on a restart, and then it goes away. Bad dog! Bad dog! McDouche caused that one too, though. You can't blame the dog. It's the owner that's the fucking idiot. Oh dear, what do I do here? What do I do? Stay out a little bit longer. We're starting on the bottom. Finally! When do I want to make that last pit stop? Like 30? 30 to go? Damn! Damn, 21 did not get going at all. Someone, something happened to somebody. You look at that mini map. Someone lost touch with the pack. They got like, they sent sideways, but there wasn't a caution for them. Let's just try to survive another 10 laps, 10-ish laps, and then we'll make our last pit stop. Oh. We're still going, we're still okay. Just try to hang on to some sort of track position for 10 laps. If it could stay green for all 10 of those laps, I know a lot of others would make pit stops with us. Oh, here comes Captain Dunce Cap himself, McDouche. He might try to wreck me for no reason at all because that's what he does. I'm sorry, bro. Could have been worse. <laughs> Handling of the car might have swung to where I'm better on the outside. I was starting to feel a little bit of something in the middle groove. So I'm gonna not go three wide. How many times are we gonna come in contact, Jemai? This is getting ridiculous. Are we good? Is that no, they ain't good. They ain't fucking good at all. We're gonna have to make a pit stop! Look, I mean, look, what is that? What is that? The kids, and then I had to continue it along. I mean, I didn't have to play NASCAR 13. This is every bit as fucked up. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I'll make my pit stop now. Fuck you! Maybe we can stretch this out to be our final pit stop. It's just we can't be involved in anything. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Oh, well, here is still the bottom. It's not out of the realm of possibility us stretching this the rest of the way. But how many damn restarts are there going to be? that one coming some easy spots yes sure but restarting on the outside with the fresh tires that i want to use down around the bottom i don't love that 30 to go we just fallen like okay that that went pretty well but now i can't let anybody underneath me i overdrove the corner and here comes mcdouche he is pissed oh oh i want oh four wide that was dangerous everybody out here probably will make another pit stop before the end of the race. If I could just take care of my equipment. Then, uh, uh, I don't like how I'm causing these cautions. I'm not looking to cause cautions. That's a move. Just like that, we're up to 16th with 26 to go. I don't envision a world where I could make another pit stop. My tires are basically new. I just have to make sure not to damage the friggin' car. Uh oh. Whoa. We're okay. We're okay. Three quarters of the way down. One quarter of the race to go. That 95 made a pit stop and it slowed up the 11 underneath me. 
who else up in this top group is going to decide to make a pit stop when it's highly inconvenient for everyone else and they just start slowing everyone down? My boy put me in a bad position! Now you got lap traffic right off the road here. He's making a pit stop. He's slowing me down! I'm getting sick and tired of this 48! I like that I have some... I only have one guy, Chumai, behind me. Like, the less people... Oh, oh, the less people around me, the better. Up to eighth! We're in the single digits! We kind of drove ourselves up here, which is pretty impressive! Again, I don't have anyone up behind me. I really like that. I, every single time I've had someone behind me, they try to get underneath me. No fucking Jimmy! I'm my own worst enemy. And when I say that, I mean me, Jimmy! Jeez Louise. Uh, uh, I have to stay out. There's like no time left. And now we're in second. Clear track. Right there out front of us. We're doing what we need to do. 15 laps. Big spin of them tires, bro. Big time loose on the restart. There goes the 31 charging up behind me. Can I keep up with this 88? He all of a sudden seems pretty damn good. What's his pit strategy looking like? What, when was his last pit stop? I have no idea. I haven't been following Redneck Jesus. Well, we're clear of everyone else. And Mikey Walnuts is the guy behind. So he's probably slowing him down, trying to send it. I'm going as deep as I freaking can, man. Into these corners. I think I'm getting, oh my God, oh my God. I just made up a bunch. We might, maybe, maybe we're better. It feels like we're getting closer. Come on, bait. Oh man, I'm getting closer to him in turn one. Turn one is where I'm better. Turn three, uh, all right, turn three wasn't bad. I just send it so much deeper than he does. I, I was going for a pop. If I gotta do a bump and run, I will. What I don't care for is this 38 on fresh tires. I gave him a pop! It didn't work, though! I gotta let him. He's gonna fuck with me. Lap traffic's gonna end up fucking me here. And it's not lap traffic ahead, it's lap traffic behind. It's just got fresher rubber. Come on, damn it. I'm... I'm starting to get, I'm starting to push, man. Starting to push. It's definitely where I lose him. I, you know, I gained so much on entry. What are you doing? You're distracting me. I lose everything through the middle and up off. See, now my tires, my tires are fucking shot. I was doing decent there for a second. I just gotta like calm down, reset a little bit. This fucking guy, man. I bet you if there was a restart, I'm willing to bet you the 88 would pick. That's all we can hope for. And the game keeps fucking freezing up on me. Two to go. Almost lost it. On the bottom, two back. Far underneath. Fuck you! Yeah! No doubt in my mind, that 38. It, he cost me some time at a very valuable point in the race. One more. Okay, now we're just hanging on. Just trying to hang on to second. I'm not even, I might lose second to Mikey Walnuts. Holy shit. All right, well, Redneck Jesus. Come on, Jemai. Come on, Jemai. You do not fucking... Are you lost? Second to a devil! I did absolutely everything I possibly... I burnt the tires off trying to chase him down during those few laps. And, you know, that's... Maybe I could have got him if that 38 wasn't behind me distracting the shit out of me. I got outrun by tie-dye. I'm gonna go jump off the roof. Tony the Tiger fastest lap yields him a tenth. A lot of different leaders because, well, we had, I believe, 17 cautions. A lot of yellow out there... It Toyota is obviously the way. A lot of yellow, a lot of crashing, the bush crash. Like I said, this fucking guy, I, I, I fucking hate you. Well, folks, I have no idea what this means for Jemai's 2024 campaign. Those nine races, a third, he starts off with a third, and Redneck Jesus is going to win. So, okay, what does that mean? 88-1. There's no 88 car, but the 88 became the 48. So I think what this means is Lil Bow Wow, Alex Bowman, is going to win the Bush Crash at the LA Coliseum this weekend. NASCAR 15 does not lie. And the 84 car will finish in third. I didn't think Jemai was entering. I, uh, whatever. I, I'm done. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I love.
Ow. Every single last one of you. I will see you in the next video that I do after this one. Later, everybody. Goodbye!